Salajan Museum beckons you to yet another amazing experience, the fabulous glass gallery. Creative expressions in glass in its many forms, shapes and sizes provide a spectacular feast for your eyes. Salarjan's mesmerizing collection reflects the glass art of 19th and 20th centuries. The zeal of the passionate connoisseur is evident in every piece that is displayed here. The world-famous Venetian glass occupies pride of place, followed by Bohemian, Irish, English, French, Czechoslovakian and Belgian beauties. As you move through the collections, you will see how each piece enchants and claims your attention. The explosion of brilliance is thrilling. Gaze in wonder at the artistic splendor and luster emanating from the sparkling creations. Work through this inspiring and beautiful gallery and discover its glittering treasures. The Salajak Museum holds a splendid collection of glass objects, mostly belonging to the 19th and 20th centuries. These superb pieces range from utilitarian to the highly decorative. The range is breathtaking and includes vessels, drinking glasses, dishes with gold leaf decoration, enameling, decanters and gilt rimmed wine glasses. Europe, there were two major centers of glass making and crystal carving, Venice and Bohemia. Venice had a head start over Bohemia and Venetian craftsmen excelled in producing colored glass, cut decoration and glass engraving. Salajung's first choice in glass for his magnificent collection was from Venice. As a result, many Venetian masterpieces adorn the gallery. Venetian glassmakers held a monopoly on quality glass making for centuries and they developed crystalline glass, enameled glass, glass with threads of gold, multicolored glass and imitation gemstones. Salajan's collection of Venetian glass includes a mind-boggling array of vessels, dishes and drinking glasses. These pieces are striking testimonies to the Venetian skill in enameling in rich refractive beautiful colors such as blue, opaque, white green, purple, red and turquoise. One supremely stunning piece is a four-sided Venetian decanter with a lid, beautifully enriched with gold leaf decoration and superbly cut on all four sides with ruby red oval shaped facets. Another mini masterpiece from Venice is a measuring glass enchantingly embellished with gold scroll work and highlighted with four honey colored cut oval sides. These fabulous pieces are the most precious assets in the glass collection of the museum. Vast display of Venetian glass painted and enameled with coat of arms portrait heads. Renowned 
all over the world for the undisputable mastery in glass enameling and elegant goblet and drinking glass classically venetian are radiantly highlighted with finely painted enamel droplets this matchless caliber of enamel work on glass belongs to venice alone there is also on display a marvelous collection of drinking glasses with excellent enamel decorations of painted portrait heads and coat of arms the cut overlay technique of glass making was refined to the point of perfection and beyond by venetian glass makers this intricate technique where one layer of glass is overlaid on another and cut back to the original color is vibrantly evident in a few super pieces at the larging museum two vases with bust paintings of ladies are fine example However, the wonderful overlay technique which captivated connoisseurs is displayed here at its stunning best by a tankard and six glasses their white overlaid layer cut to reveal dazzling patterns. The Venetian display vividly testifies to the opulence and technical perfection of Venetian glass. Bohemia, which is today part of the Czech Republic, became a famous center of glass making post 16th century the bohemian glass industry eventually overtook venice in the 19th century bohemian crystal became far superior to that of venice in terms of its brilliance At the end of the 18th century, Bohemia had begun to produce opal glass in imitation of porcelain, and this, combined with its transparent glass dyes and flawless crystal glass, carried the Bohemian glass industry to new heights. Salajan's grand collection of Bohemian glass includes glass vessels and bowls overlaid with clear glass. Other fabulous pieces are cut with facets and a few more have cut overlay with etched scenes of hunting and buildings. A brilliant example of Bohemian overlaid glass is a large tankard with a lid, its red overlay and cut embellished with a knob This immensely attractive piece is quite outstanding for its exquisiteness Another bohemian beauty is a round box which has a unique crackled surface
while bohemian glass of the 19th century was deeply rooted in german and austrian culture the beginning of the 20th century saw the awakening of an independent sec art in glass making glass was widely used in art nouveau design and bohemia or sec became the third largest producers of decorative glass in europe The Lager Museum contains many splendid examples of Zeg glass displayed in glaze of glory which quite dazzles your eyes. The museum's Czechoslovakian collection comprises of the famous cameo glass resembling colored stones and there are several fabulously decorated vessels covered with opaque glass threads that forming floral decorations and cut scent bottles that are exceptional in appearance Precious examples of Bohemia crystals were imported to the Ottoman palaces in Turkey from what is now the Czech Republic. Salajan Museum displays some splendid pieces brought from Istanbul. Irish lineage is legendary and the Irish cut glass exhibits are something unique and truly a cut above the rest in their finesse. Salajan Museum boasts a noteworthy collection of Irish cut glass ranging from bowls bottles and tumblers and drinking glasses that depict magnificently cut designs one example that stands out in beauty is a drinking glass with intricately cut design a typical beauty portraying the irish mastery of cut glass design English glasses are a class apart with workmanship that is extremely aesthetic and superbly attractive at the same time with their spiral wine glass stems exquisite diamond point engraving and several bewitching ornamental scent bottles cream mugs and sugar basins all decorated with the delicate spiral leaf and stem designs
of the english objects estimable are the drinking glasses straight stemmed the stems concealing exquisite internal twist or the spirals obtained from glass balusters refer to the large knobs that occupies the stem of these glasses stem glasses were produced by trapping a bubble of air within the stem and drawing it out this practice includes many different types of twist and can also incorporate any number of knots The development of the air twist glass was in part due to the fashion of Rococo styles which demanded a lighter, more elegant style than the balusters. At the gallery, we can see fine examples of baluster and air twist stem techniques. French were famous for their opaline translucent glasses in pleasing shades and hues. Salaging Museum has some tastefully chosen pieces which reflect French pension for subtlety and smoothness. Some pastel colored translucent French vessels and bowls in the museum are incredibly attractive pieces. Two slim gold-colored French vases are eye-catching for their attractive shapes. Vintage Italian glass in the stunning color and design is displayed in a set of Italian lamps acquired by Salargen for his gorgeous glass collection. They simply steal the show with the inimitable grace and beauty.
Not to be left behind are the fine collection of antique Belgian bowls, drinking glasses and vessels, each of which reflects a touch of exclusive and ethnic elegance. As a gleaming paradise of glass, it is a heaven on earth for antique glass lovers. Salarjung's collection is one of its kind and deserves our unreserved admiration. Our episode on the famous Salarjung glass collection was an awesome experience for all of us. The displays ranged from the grandeur of the past to the present day marvels, revealing the diversity of glass and the creativity of glass makers through the ages. It was a unique visual journey where an everyday material like glass was seen in its most glorious facets. In our next episode, we will explore another unique and magnificent collection, that of porcelain. Our journey of discovery gets more and more exciting.